So I'd love to kind of talk a little bit about, you came into a new department that had a new, like a totally different ethos. You had different dynamics you had to, you know, contend with. Um, walk me through like what that process was like. How deep was that J curve? How did you not stay in the Valley of Despair? What were you looking at on a higher level to kind of power yourself through those challenges in this new role? Like, again, I think you said like you had never even heard about, you know, this type of role before. Initially, it was challenging internally because I ha was an external candidate and um, there were internal candidates within the office that I ended up leading. So that's always a challenge, right? When you end up getting a job over people who are more familiar with the job um, and wanted the job and didn't get the job. So I think that's that was um, that required some finesse. I am not the most finesse oriented person you'll ever meet. Um, be it, I'm, can be a bit of a bulldozer at times. You, you can ask people, <laughs> um, but I, you know, I needed to be careful with this with the staff and make sure that people were happy with the transition, or at least, you know, facilitating the transition. And um, I think for the larger part of State Department, it was just it was a bit of a climb to kind of sort of look around the room and understand how that was how to be successful in that environment. And um, I talked to a bunch of people who had State Department experience and and they gave me a lot of pointers and um, which is great. I mean, it's I was really it was very helpful that people were comfortable telling me kind of this is how it's going to work or in that meeting. It might have been better if you sat back a little bit and let other people, you know, chew around them, you know, the con the concepts that were at the table. Um, so that was really helpful for me. And um, and then there was just so much work. So we just had to put our heads down and do it. Um, and I also, there were things that needed to be fixed, um, including some of the relationship with the other partners in the inner agency. And um, so I just sort of put my head to doing that with the team and partnered with other organizations that were supporting the concept that I was pursuing. And um, that made it a lot better because it's always better to, when you're in a struggle to, to try to get something done that some people might be resisting is to have allies. And I sought allies. And, and um, so that was, that helped a lot, I think with, with that um, sort of getting up um, out of the hole to just sort of figure it out. And I remember initially there was so much, all the interaction, almost all the interaction between industry and the office was in writing, right? Because these could become legal matters. And so everything was in writing. And um, I remember for weeks taking home tote bags full of templates that we had something like 300 templates for different types of letters. And I edited every single one. <laughs> and that was, you know, that was a lot. But um, I wanted to sort of set a slightly different standard. And um, anyway, yeah, and so what did I that show people? Time, what do you think that showed people? on your team? I think that showed people um, a couple of things. One, that quality was important to me. And um, two, consistency is important to me. And three, uh, good writing, I think, is a key skill when, when your job is writing, for the most part, and communicating with people. Your communication should be clear and concise and um, correct. So, uh, the, the team was like, oh, she's quite the grammarian, <laughs> which I am, proudly so. And, uh, you know, I would put little yellow stickies on the things, the papers I was reviewing and then send them back to the staffers. And some of them had the little yellow stickies hung up all in their cubicles because they were like, oh, my God, I never knew this about how to write. So it irritated a bunch of people, too. Um, but I think for them, they were like, oh, so she's really paying attention. Right. That's good because as a new person in the office and new to the mission, you learn through um, both having the view of the larger um, sort of coast and then digging into the details. So, um, and I had a great, it was a great office. We had uh, staff that were lovely people, lovely smart um, people from all over, all kinds of experiences that just really wanted to do the right thing. And and then some senior folks in the office who had a lot of experience there. And, and it was a really good mix. I, I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.